As reported, by the early 2030s, Singapore could experience more deaths than births. This is not just a statistic. It's a seismic shift that will ripple across all sectors, especially real estate. Currently, Singapore's total fertility rate stands at 1.05, well below the replacement level of 2.1. This figure is one of the lowest in the world, and it's no surprise that our population is aging. In 2022, 19% of the population was aged 65 and above. By 2030, that number is expected to climb to 25%. This aging population, coupled with low fertility, means we will see more deaths than births, as early as the first half of the 2030s. Now, let that sink in. We're staring at a future where the younger, economically active population will shrink while the number of elderly rises significantly. How will that impact our homes, our neighbourhoods, our investments? So what are the impact on the real estate market? First, ageing population and healthcare needs. Singapore will have to prepare for an elderly population that requires specific types of housing. Right now, we have about 5,000 nursing home beds, but by 2030, we might need far more. We're not just talking about typical HDB flats anymore. Retirement communities, senior-friendly condominiums, and healthcare-focused housing projects will be essential we could see a boom in developments that offer integrated care services, medical facilities, and recreational options for the elderly. These will be premium opportunities for developers and investors who can meet this growing demand. Second, shift in housing preferences. Smaller families are becoming the norm. Couples are having fewer children and more people are remaining single. This will drive up demand for smaller homes, one- or two-bedroom units, especially in central areas where convenience and access to amenities are critical. But here's an interesting twist. As more people live longer, multi-generational living could become more common. Homes designed for flexibility, where children care for aging parents under one roof, will be highly sought after. Developers who can design properties that accommodate both seniors and young professionals could have a winning formula. Third, fewer first-time buyers. Now, let's consider the flip side. Fewer babies born today means fewer first-time home buyers tomorrow. In 10 years, we'll likely see a smaller pool of young buyers entering the market. This could put downward pressure on demand for starter homes, especially in the HDB resale market. That said, this doesn't mean doom and gloom. A slower local market could open up opportunities for foreign buyers. We have always been a global city, and the future might see even greater reliance on attracting high net worth individuals and expatriates. With our world-class infrastructure, strategic location, and political stability, Singapore remains a prized market for international investors. Fourth, Attracting foreign buyers. In a future market with declining local demand due to shrinking population, international migration and demand could become the key driver of growth. The cooling measures we've seen in recent years could evolve to accommodate more PRs and foreign participation. At some point in time, such harsh ABSD taxes need to be adjusted to boost demand. We are standing at a crossroads. This demographic transformation isn't just a shift in numbers. It's about how we live, who we live with, and what kind of future we envision for ourselves and our families. The homes we buy today will be lived in by an entirely different generation tomorrow. It's not just about square footage or location anymore. It's about adaptability, inclusivity, and sustainability. I urge you to think beyond today's trends. Real estate has always been about timing and vision. The demographic changes coming to Singapore in the next decade are creating a once-in-a-generation opportunity. Those who prepare now, whether by investing in senior-friendly housing, targeting smaller units, or tapping into foreign demand, will be the ones who thrive in the next decade. My name is P.K. So from Huttons. I look forward to sharing more with you. Thank you.